Hey everyone, welcome back. I hope you've all been having a beautiful day and that you're all feeling good. Today I'm excited because I'm going to show you how I'm making reusable breast pads, which I'm going to need because update if you're wanting an update. The little munchkin is getting very, very big. So I'm probably going to be needing the breast pads soon. Um, I've just been making them like this. Just with like scrap flannelette that I have hanging around and cotton. And in the middle of them, I've put three layers of microfiber. So they're super absorbent. Flannelette's super soft on your nipples when they're sore and yeah they're reusable so you can just wash them and reuse them instead of having to go out and buy millions of breast pads and throw them all into landfill <laughs> so the microfiber cloth that I use you can literally just get from Bunnings um, they come in packs of 20 for ten dollars and you can make three I think three breast pads no two breast pads out of one cloth. I'll show you, hang on a second. This is the pack of micro microfiber cloth that I got. Um, as you can see, they're reasonably big. I just fold them in thirds. And then you can get two breast pads out of one. So that's three layers in the middle. I've got my overlocker. You can use an overlocker or a sewing machine. Um, if you're using a sewing machine, just use it on zigzag stitch to go around the edge. My overlocker, I've got like all different random colored threads because I just got the threads from the op shop. I didn't actually go out and buy the same colored threads. Um, so it looks a little bit funky just because they're different colored threads here's another one I made Let's see how that's gray and then it's red on that side yeah if you've got the same color thread use the same color thread if not reduce reuse recycle is good if you've been enjoying these videos please like and subscribe if you want to be kept up to date with more making stuff um, give it a share if you reckon that someone else might benefit from this video or just enjoy making stuff and yeah, spread the love, spread the knowledge. Let's all get crafty together. Yeah, if we can help spread knowledge and spread skills on like how to make stuff, especially things like breast pads, I think it's really important instead of just going out and buying disposable ones. If we can just make breast pads once for like literally a flannelette sheet from the op shop, a cotton sheet from the op shop, that's like what, $4? And then a bag of microfiber cloths from Bunnings, that's like $10, that's $14 all up. One packet of disposable breast pads costs like $15. So if we can just make them and then use them the whole time, we save so much money and we save the planet and we like reduce our waste by so much. Like there's still the plastic that these cloths came in. Like there's still that plastic. But it's not like every single time with those disposable ones, how they come in plastic, each single one, and you have to take the wrapper off and it's like, oh my God, the turtles. <laughs> anyway, I just think it's important. And yeah, I'm really excited to share this with you guys. And yeah, I hope you share it with everyone else as well because we should all be more creative and self-sufficient anyway <laughs> you're awesome thank you for being here and thank you for learning this and thank you for wanting to reduce your waste and yeah helping this planet i love you guys let's get making let's get crafty oh yeah Alrighty, so now I'm going to show you how I cut out the pieces. 
Um, I'm just using this as my template. It's the top of like, you know the little containers that you keep tea in? Yeah, it's just the top of one of them. And it measures about 12 centimeters in diameter. It's just under, maybe 11 and a half centimeters, 12 centimeters, around that. So just find anything circular that's around that sort of size. And you can use that as a stencil. So just put it down and just trace around it. And I guess it will fit two out of each one of these. And so then we just cut these out. There we go. So we've got our microfiber. Then this is some flannelette that I have that I've been using. You'll just need six pieces or six pieces all together of the microfiber. So that's two circles that you've cut. Then we'll just need two pieces of flannelette material. You can use bed sheets or whatever you can find at the op shop. Um, iron it flat so it's easier to sew and you don't have any crinkles in it when you sew it. Trace around your and then you can cut it out. I decided to do this the awkward upside down way. Eh? But that suits me. I'm awkward and an upside down kind of person. Okay, there we go. So we've got our two pieces of flannel there. Because I was using this one, but it's nearly run out, and I don't know if there's enough to. Oh, there might be. We'll see. We'll see if we can get two out of this one. One here. Be enough for two. Do you reckon it'll fit there? <gasps> it will. Yeah, I love it when that happens. Waste not, want not. There we go. So we've got two pieces of cotton, two pieces of flannelette, and six pieces of microfiber. Now we're gonna take it over to our sewing machine or overlocker or whatever you're using. Alrighty, so now we're gonna go ahead and stack our breast pads. I'll show you how they do it here. So, well this is other flannelette, these are pillowcases. See, like a dollar from the op shop. I'm gonna use them as well, <laughs> but I'll, I'll do that later. I'm using these ones now. So we'll get three pieces of our microfiber and three pieces of our microfiber and just make sure that they're all even and stuck together. And then the other side, then we're gonna put our flannelette on one side, circle, and flip it over and put the cotton on the other side. I'm using the flannelette on the side that's going to be touching my nipples because it's super soft. Cotton is soft too. Um, I just find flannelettes a bit more absorbent. 
So there we go. You can pin it if you want. Um, I don't really want to pin it because I'm lazy and I don't usually pin things. But yeah, we'll take it over to our overlocker or sewing machine now. Alrighty. So we'll get our breast pads, turn our machine on. If you're using a sewing machine, just put it on zigzag stitch and zigzag stitch around the outside. And then we'll And there we go, one reusable breast pad. Just cut the tails off. And we're good to go. Then we'll just sew the other one, which is the exact same as the first one. Just so we have a pair. And that's the second one. Snip those excess threads off. And there we go. One set of reusable breast pads. Woohoo! You did it! You made your first set of reusable breast pads. So see how easy that was? So easy, so simple, so cheap, and so much better for the environment and for us. And our just general well-being and our budget everything <laughs> so yeah thank you for watching and if you enjoyed this video give it a like subscribe if you want to be kept up to date with new videos if you have any questions or tips or anything like that just leave a comment below and I'd love to see what you guys make so if you have Instagram or something I've linked my Instagram below so you can tag me in your creations i'd love to see what you guys are doing and yeah big love and happy baking Yay. Mwah.